Hello, I'm Robert Parga, Principal of Medfield High School, and I want to welcome you to the Senior Awards presentation for the graduating class of 2021. This has been a challenging year for all of our students, yet despite the many scheduled changes and countless modifications we've needed to make this year, you've hung in, persevered, and did your very best, and we are very proud of you. To honor your work, I'm pleased that we are able to have this virtual presentation. Before we get started, I want to thank our Guidance Department Chair, Stephanie Worthley, and her team for organizing this presentation. Also, a huge shout out to our friends at Medfield TV for all their work behind the scenes. And now, I'm pleased to present our Senior Awards presentation for the Medfield High School graduating class of 2021. Hello and welcome to the Class of 2021 Virtual Senior Recognition Night. We are all very excited to honor so many members of this special class and to properly recognize their contributions, achievements, and accomplishments. However, what is most impressive about this class is not the individual successes, but the unifying spirit you have shown throughout the strangest school year any of us can recall. Your junior year was abruptly halted last March, and this year has been certainly unconventional non-traditional, and probably felt a bit fragmented to many of you. Through it all, we watched your continued growth and perseverance. You supported each other, respected each other's differences, and came together when finally allowed to do so. Although this was not the senior year anyone envisioned, I can assure you it is a year we will always remember and a year that has shown just how much you can achieve through times of adversity and uncertainty. I would also like to recognize the work senior Mimi Oreo conducted along with the SEL task force during her senior project. She sought to capture the silver linings of our experiences during the pandemic. Her positive outlook on this experience should remind us all that we are and will always be a school community that finds the good in each other, our individual and collective values, and finds ways to shine during good times and challenges. I encourage you to hang on to that spirit as you move beyond the walls of Medfield High School and into society. You should have unlimited confidence in yourselves as you have proven to so many of us that you can and will achieve great things. You have the capacity to overcome even the most unpredictable obstacles. Congratulations to this amazing senior class and to the families that have been so supportive of us all through this school year. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the evening. The Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizens Award. The Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizens Award recognizes and rewards an individual who possesses good citizenship and qualities of dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism in their homes, schools, and communities. This award is voted on by the Medfield High School faculty each year. It is my pleasure to announce Avery Ayer as this year's recipient. Congratulations, Avery. 
It is my pleasure to present the Assistant Principal Sunshine Award on behalf of myself and Mrs. Mendoza. Every year, we are given the opportunity to recognize a graduating senior that has left a lasting and positive impression on us and honor that recipient for simply being themselves. This award is not based on merit, academic achievement, or extracurricular accomplishments. It is a rare opportunity to recognize someone for being a good person and someone that has brightened our days. We chose to recognize this young man for the person we have seen him become. He is confident, mature, and honest. He is respectful and in turn has earned our respect for all the right reasons. This year's recipient is always quick with a friendly greeting, willing to have a hallway chat about sports, current events, or whatever the topic of the day may be. He has even offered me advice on big games, which I am glad I never really took to heart. He has developed into the type of young man any parent would be proud of, not perfect and doesn't pretend to be. He is as genuine and authentic a student as I have worked with during my 20 plus years in education. It is my honor to present this year's Assistant Principal Sunshine Award to Liam Milne. Congratulations, Liam. I am pleased to present the Sunshine Principal Scholarship. The Medfield High School Sunshine Fund allows for sunshine to be spread throughout the year to staff members. The MHS faculty generously supports the Sunshine Fund and presents this scholarship to a graduating senior. This year's recipient goes to a student who has demonstrated care and concern for her community and a willingness to always help out when needed. She quietly goes about her work, yet her actions show her desire to always do what's right. I'm pleased to present the Principal's Sunshine Scholarship to Rachel Morrison. Congratulations, Rachel. Established in 1987, a scholarship trust fund was created in memory of Madeline L. Grant, a proud Medfield resident. The selected recipients must have attended the Medfield Public Schools for at least six years, be ranked in the top 10% of the class, be involved in extracurricular activities, and be accepted to a four-year college program. The recipients of the Madeline L. Grant Award are Sydney Lee and Caroline Callahan. Mrs. Andrea Trasher, a beloved teacher and principal at Memorial School for over 20 years, passed away in 2014. During her life as an educator, she was a passionate advocate for contributing to the community. This scholarship in her name recognizes strong academic scholarship and citizenship in a student, two traits that held such importance for Andrea. This year's recipient is Avery Ayer. I'm here tonight to present the National Honor Society Scholarships. The four pillars of the National Honor Society are service, citizenship, character, and scholarship. And I'm very happy to announce that the following students have demonstrated excellence in all areas throughout their time as members of the Medfield High School National Honor Society. Congratulations to Avery Ayer, Kate Anderson, Liam Nadell, Grace O'Donnell, Elizabeth Sheck, Taylor Gindon, Owen Brand, Sophia McAvoy, Sam Cornett, Madison Hogart, and Jake Kramer. I am a teacher in the MHS English Department, as well as the Yearbook Advisor and the Literary Magazine Advisor. I also happen to be a proud graduate of Medfield High School. Best wishes to my new fellow alumni, the entire class of 2021. At this time, I am honored to speak on behalf of the MHS Alumni Association. Founded in 2008, the MHS Alumni Association preserves a shared spirit and culture among present and future alumni. The wide ranging and diverse network of communication ensures the unique ideas, long-lasting loyalty, and perpetual camaraderie of Medfield High School. This year's recipient of the MHS Alumni Association Scholarship is Samuel Hedges. Congratulations. On behalf of the entire Kelly family, I am honored to present the Lord's William J. Kelly Memorial Scholarship, which honors Bill Kelly, longtime owner of Medfield's Lord's Department Store. In his years as owner of the iconic Medfield Store, Mr. Kelly employed thousands of local youth. Holding a job during high school while participating in after-school activities was important to Mr. Kelly. 
This year's recipient of the Lord's William J. Kelly Memorial Scholarship is Megan Bannister. Congratulations. I am honored to present the John Pansiaco Memorial Scholarship, established by the MHS Alumni Association in 2019. This award is in memory of John, an assistant athletic director, coach, teacher, and MHS graduate himself, to recognize a graduating senior who possesses qualities that John displayed every day. This student has exhibited commitment and loyalty to school and community and is pursuing a career in teaching and or coaching. This year's recipient of the John Pansiaco Memorial Scholarship is Molly Hardiman. Congratulations. Mrs. Andrea Trasher, a beloved teacher and principal at Memorial School for over 20 years, passed away in 2014. Mrs. Trasher was an advocate for students with a wide variety of learning styles and needs and helped many students and families start their journey through the Medfield Public Schools. The recipients of the CPAC Andrea Trasher Scholarship are Eliana Nardelli and Edward Viles. The Medfield CPAC Special Education Parent Advisory Council recognizes two graduating seniors who have demonstrated an interest in helping or advocating for persons with special needs or disabilities. The recipients have demonstrated acts of kindness and community building both in school and out of school for fellow students or community residents who face disability challenges. The recipients of the CPAC award are Grace O'Donnell and Ella Pizzullo. Congratulations. Peter Kenny was a man who found his passion late in life. The Peter Kenny Scholarship is presented to a student who has an interest for TV and media. This award is presented to Brendan Fugelstad. Congratulations, Brendan. Each year, awards are given for excellence in the field of visual arts to students who exemplify a high level of conceptual thinking, technical skill, and aesthetic awareness. This year, our recipients have shown amazing commitment and seriousness of purpose to our program throughout their four years of high school. It is with great pleasure that I announce this year's recipients of the Excellence in Art Award are Chris Herbst, Nigel Lau, Grace O'Donnell, and Emery Swarbalis. Congratulations to all of you and thank you for contributing so much to our program this year. The MAEA Emerging Artist Award is given to students who have participated in a highly competitive statewide juried show of high school students in Massachusetts. This year's MAEA awards go to Avery Ayer, Nigel Lau, Grace O'Donnell, and Emery Swarbalis. The Scholastic Art Awards recognize students for their refinement of skill in a statewide exhibition of artwork. I am pleased to announce that this year's winning seniors are Nigel Lau, Emery Swarbalis, Anna Zhang, and Gabrielle Zima. The Steven Spielberg Video Award recognizes excellence in video production. This is awarded to students who have demonstrated vision and commitment in this collaborative medium. This year's awards go to Mary Oreo and Gabrielle Zima. The Excellence in Ceramics Award goes to a student who has demonstrated a high level of technical skill in a sophisticated body of finished work in the medium of ceramics. This year's Excellence in Ceramics Award goes to Abby Frankel. Every year, the Friends of the Medfield Public Library award the Amy Fisk Creative Writing Award to a senior whose original prose is recognized for its excellence and its exceptional skill. This year, the judges want to award an honorable mention to Seneth Hardvigson and the winner of this year's Amy Fisk Creative Writing Award is Antonia Rijo. I am honored to present yearbook awards to three seniors who not only worked hard during my first semester yearbook class, but also stayed on as second semester independent study students in order to help finish the yearbook and design the supplement. This year's theme is Out of the Blue, 
but their dedication and decisions were anything but, as they spent many months putting together a memorable product for the school to be proud of. Well, I am certainly proud of them. This year's recipients of yearbook awards are Krista Anderson, Erin Infantino, and Ella Pizzullo. Thanks. We are proud to announce that Seneth Hardvickson is this year's recipient of the Medfield High School Creative Writing Award. The Medfield High School English Award. This award, the highest award given by the English department, is a unanimous decision by the entire department. This award recognizes students whose love of literature drives them with a combined enthusiasm and work ethic, and their, and their skills are worthy of distinction. I am pleased to announce that the department felt it could not simply have one candidate. And instead, this year, the English award will be given to three very deserving senior students, Katherine Anderson, Seneth Hardvickson, and Nicole Mulready. The Globe All Scholastic Writing Award are the nation's longest running and most prestigious recognition program for creative teens. We are proud to recognize a Silver Key Award winner, Joseph Nickerson. Business is built on trust, ideas that solve problems, and communities. This award is presented to a graduating senior who's attending a four-year college to further their education in the field of business. And the Hub International Scholarships goes to James Layden. The Medfield Employer and Merchants Organization, MEMO, recognizes the recipient's conscientious efforts and outstanding dedication to the school and community. MEMO is proud to present this award to a student as interested in pursuing a career in business. And the recipients of the Medfield Employers and Merchants Organization scholarships are Angelina Rehal, Adelaide Gardner, and Samantha Falvey. The Richard DeSauger Active Citizen Award is given to a student who, in the words of Thomas Jefferson, has lent his or her talents to the community as an active citizen. Retired MHS teacher Richard DeSorger typifies this quality. This year's honoree also exemplifies Jefferson's vision. President of the Model UN, this student is also a standout in the AP US Government and Politics course. Her commitment to issues of racial injustice and equality are noteworthy, and she encourages her fellow students to get involved at the grassroots level. The 2021 Richard DeSorger Active Citizen Award is given to Katherine Berglund. Gary Stockbridge Global Citizenship Award is given to the senior who best exemplifies the values demonstrated by Mr. Stockbridge, a longtime MHS faculty member. An understanding of the United States' role as a member of the global community, he or she has shown a thoughtful response to the issues and problems that confront people from both in the United States and developing countries of the world. With a particular interest in problems facing immigrants and refugees and a work ethic second to none, this year the Social Studies Department is pleased and proud to honor Angelia Riho. The Social Studies Award is given to the student who has excelled in or is incredibly passionate about history and the humanities. This student's interest in the subject is unsurpassed. He devotes dozens of hours preparing for his reenactor re roles in both the American Revolution and the U.S. Civil War. He volunteers his time to bring his roles to life in sophomore classes at Medfield High School. His fellow students are enthralled by his transformation. His dedication to detail and his pure love of the past is outstanding. This young man is a true student of history and a historian in the making. For these reasons and more, the Social Studies Award is proudly given to Liam Frazier. As part of its mission, the Democratic Party promotes public service and civic responsibility. This can cover many areas, including social justice, the environment, health care, gun safety, immigration, income equality, political change, and more. The Medfield Democratic Town Committee presents this award to a student who has demonstrated commitment to public service and civic responsibility. The recipient this year is Kate Anderson. This award is in memory of Michael J. Sullivan, who dedicated his life to public service and to the town of Medfield. This is given to those students who plan on studying government and college 
or have a desire to pursue a career in public service. This year's recipients are Caroline Callahan and Liam Frazier. Tasfalides began his service to the Medfield community in 1971 as the science coordinator. In 1975, he became the principal of the high school. His tenure lasted for 17 years, retiring in 1991. His teaching career began in North Brookfield, Stoughton and Natick and eventually Medfield, spanning 40 years in education. This scholarship in his name is awarded to a graduating senior who is pursuing a teaching degree. This year's recipient of the Tasfalides Award goes to Molly Hardiman. Mrs. Margaret Jenkins was a dedicated teacher in the Medfield Elementary Schools for close to 30 years. This memorial scholarship was established to honor Mrs. Jenkins and her young students over her teaching career and to help an aspiring teacher reach his or her goals. This year's winner is Kayla Luchek. This award is presented to an aspiring motivated future educator who seeks to make his or her students aware of the importance of education and community. This year's winner is Anna Johnson. The Harland L. Cook Future Educator Award is presented to a student who is planning to pursue a career in teaching. This year's award goes to Kayla Luchek. First wanted to say congratulations to all the seniors. Uh, you've had to persevere and deal with many challenges over the last two years, but you finally made it. Hopefully you can celebrate the end of high school and new beginning because you guys definitely deserve it. I am presenting the Larry Dunn Memorial Scholarship in memory of my father who passed away in 2005. Having grown up in Medfield and gone through the Medfield school system, this is an extremely special place to me and my family, and it means a great deal to us to be able to help give back just a little bit to the community. In the selection process, I always look for a student that I could picture my father rooting for and being proud of. The Larry Dunn Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a Medfield High School graduate who values education and has demonstrated significant growth and development over their four years at MHS. The individual embodies the characteristics of a lifelong learner while being a positive role model for others. These characteristics include, but are not limited to, perseverance, hard work, dedication, resiliency, and respect for both peers and faculty. This year's recipient certainly checks all of those boxes. I have had the pleasure of witnessing their work ethic and it has blown me away. They constantly ask questions because they are seeking a deeper level of understanding and continue to persevere through challenges and work until they arrive at their de desired destination. They do not take the easy way out and instead of looking for excuses, they look for solutions. I've been extremely impressed and cannot say how proud of them I am. I know without a doubt that they have only scratched the surface of what they will eventually become. It is my pleasure on behalf of myself and my family to present this year's Larry Dunn Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $750 to Camilla Silk. Hello, I'm Mr. Kramer and on behalf of the math department, I would like to congratulate the following students for their achievements in mathematics this year. The top three scores on the American math competition are Lucas Hassong, Paige Katerba, and Sammy Falvey. The Excellence in Math Award goes to Teddy Ariel, Lucas Hassong, and Sammy Hat Falvey. The Above and Beyond in Math Award is presenting to Megan Bannister, Sammy Cornett, Anna Schulman, and Erin Infantino. The top senior scorer in the New England Math League is Katie Shen. Congratulations to all the award winners. Mitchell Construction Group is proud to present the annual Aspiring Construction Management Architectural Engineering Scholarship Program to a Medfield senior pursuing a construction management interior design or engineering degree program at an accredited post-secondary school or college. This year's award goes to Garrett Compston. The Birds Hill Compounding Pharmacy is proud to offer a scholarship for a graduating senior. This scholarship is awarded to a student planning for a career as a pharmacist or health professional. This year's award goes to Sarah Churchill. It gives me great pleasure on behalf of the Science Department to present a number of awards to members of the graduating class. 
The students chosen were selected by their respective teachers because of their performance and drive for academic excellence in the particular discipline. The environmental studies class at MHS addresses the current state of affairs of our planet, examining issues such as population growth, climate change, pollution, water and agriculture. This year's award recipients brought authentic care and intensity to the class with projects that demonstrated their passion for the environment and their eagerness to make a difference in preserving the environment. Congratulations to Grace O'Donnell, Molly Goonan and Samantha Falvey. Mr. Brown described the selected Engineering 2 student as one who tackles all projects and tasks with the precision and attention needed to succeed in the field of engineering. Another key attribute for an engineer is to work well in a team and this year's recipient Lucas Hisong is an excellent team player. The award for excellence in anatomy and physiology is going to two students who have demonstrated a love of learning about the human body. The award goes to Erin Sullivan and Charlotte Royston. Students are also selected from each of the AP Science classes. For AP Chemistry, Mr. Lu, Mr. Lu nominated Nolan Franks. He described Nolan as a student who works immensely hard to understand the inner workings of chemistry and how chemistry relates to the world around us. He is careful and concise with his explanations and pays attention to fine detail. Congratulations, Nolan. After many months of teamwork, problem solving and trial and error, our AP Physics students now possess the skills needed to shape the world. This year's AP Physics award goes to Garrett Comston. Having demonstrated a profound interest in the environment, Charlotte Royston was selected as the recipient of the AP Environmental Science Award. Congratulations, Charlotte. On behalf of both the science and math departments, I would also like to take a moment to present the following Certificate of Merit from the Society of Women and Engineers of Boston. To be a recipient of this award, a student must have completed a minimum of three years of science and math with, with distinction. Paige Coturba is this year's recipient. Congratulations, Paige. Since 1919, the Legion and its members have played an important part in the life of the town of Medfield. Their community support remains impressive with support for the Memorial Day parade and ceremonies and the feeding of lunch to all parade marchers, Veterans Day ceremonies in, Bax in Baxter Park, the Christmas party for Medfield senior citizens, Christmas with Santa for Medfield youth, sponsorship of Medfield High School juniors to attend Boys and Girls State, the Toys for Tots program, high school scholarships and Medfield Fishing Derby, sponsorship of Legion baseball and softball teams, monetary donation and support to other town organizations, and sponsorship of Boy Scout Troop 89. The Phil Burr Scholarship recipient is Anna Johnson. The Al Magnello Scholarship recipient is Jackson Viscaldo. The Chief William Mann Scholarship recipient is Dennis Bolin. And the Sons of the Legion Scholarship is Caitlin Shields. Scholarship recipients are students in good academic standing who have had the courage and perseverance during high school to continuously improve their academic performance and who have been solid members of the community giving back through service. The Middlesex Savings Bank Scholarship recipient is Katrina Cazito. The Hannah Adams Women's Club of Medfield, Massachusetts was founded in 1894. The club's motto is, nothing great was ever achieved without enthusiasm. In response to your application and in recognition of your achievements, the Hannah Adams Women's Club is pleased to award this scholarship to three graduating seniors. And the recipients of the Hannah Adams Scholarship are Anna Schulman, Eva O'Toole, and Ella Pozzullo. My name is Ellen Tubman, and I am the department chair for World Languages and Cultures at Medfield High School. It is my pleasure to honor several seniors today for their achievements and accomplishments in their pursuit of language proficiency. Our first set of awards is for seniors who have been recognized by the American Classical League and the National Junior Classical League for their achievement on the National Latin Exam. Congratulations to the following seniors. In Latin 2, Samuel Nash, magna cum laude. In Latin 4, Caitlin McCarthy, maxima cum laude with a silver medal. 
and in Latin for Antonia Rijo and Erin Sullivan, summa cum laude with gold medals. We are also pleased to honor seniors who have achieved the Massachusetts Seal of Biliteracy, which is an award given by a school, school district, or state in recognition of students who have studied and attained proficiency in two or more languages by high school graduation. Our vision is to help students recognize the value of their academic success and see the tangible benefits of being bilingual. Last year, our district opted into the State Seal of Biliteracy program and we awarded the State Seal to 19.2% of the graduating class. This year, we will continue this tradition of excellence by awarding the State Seal of Biliteracy to the following students. In French, Sarah Boyd, Abigail Frankel, and Molly Gunin. In Chinese, Anna Zhang. In Spanish, Katherine Anderson, Krista Anderson, Andrew Barrett, Katherine Berglund with distinction, Katherine Blake, Caroline Callahan, Gabriella Cristo, Sarah Churchill with distinction, Marcus D'Angelo, Katherine Dooley, Sophia Donner, Samantha Falvey, Grace Foley, Nolan Franks, Slater Franks, Adelaide Gardner, Lorenzo Gatti, Marissa Garg, Jacob Grennan, Molly Hardiman with distinction, Brendan Harding, Aaron Infantino, Grace Louts, Sarah Louts, Noelle Lingren, McCole Mulready, Catherine O'Connor, Grace O'Donnell, Ava O'Toole, Matthew Paracci, Lauren Plonsky, Charlotte Royston, Theodore Sawan, Elizabeth Sheck, Camilla Silk, Erin Sullivan, Emery Swirbalis, Isabel Vara, Molly Wagenseller. Our department would also like to recognize the following seniors for their excellence and contributions in these spoken languages. For excellence in French, Sarah Boyd and Molly Gunin. For excellence in Mandarin, Catherine Chin and Garrett Comston. And for excellence in Spanish, Catherine Berglund, Sarah Churchill, and Grace O'Donnell. The Medfield Sportsman Club is proud to present a graduating senior with a scholarship each year on behalf of Harry S. Sonnenberg. The recipients of the Harry S. Sonnenberg Sportsmanship Scholarship are Antonella Rizzo, and Carlos Gorge. New in Town of Medfield is a volunteer-run organization that welcomes new families to the community. The New in Town Scholarship was created to recognize students that have a history of service to the betterment of the Medfield community, an established record of community service throughout high school, and an excellent academic record. The award recipients are Brendan Harding and Charlotte Royston. Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Page Realty presents this scholarship to a student who personifies the life of Eric Zorn. Eric was an ambitious, compassionate, and adventurous young man that embraced life, lived it to the fullest, and believed deeply for equality for all mankind. This award is presented to Nigel Lau. Congratulations, Nigel. I'm pleased to present the award for Outstanding Participation in Wellness to Liam Frazier. Liam was a positive influence in every wellness class he took. Regardless of the activity or workout, he always gave 100%. Here are some comments from his teachers. In the case of strength and conditioning class, his level of commitment helped him make him as well as his classmates stronger. During activities for life, Liam was always a positive spirit during our most difficult time due to the pandemic. He is a kind soul who makes others feel better. And every year during his wellness classes, Liam came to class with a smile, a greeting, and the best attitude regardless of the wellness topic. He's always there for his classmates with encouragement and support. Liam is truly one in a million. Congratulations. I'm pleased to present the award for outstanding participation in athletic training to Jake Grennan. According to Maria, Jake was the most engaged student in class and was very attentive to the demands of his assignments. He asked very good questions about what they were studying and did a great job on his sports injury presentation. Congratulations, Jake. 
Sergeant Daniel McCarthy was a police officer in Medfield for three and a half years before his untimely death in 2000. Sergeant McCarthy was killed in the line of duty while directing traffic at a construction site. Sergeant McCarthy worked with the youth of Medfield as the department's DARE officer and also was the father to five children. It is our pleasure to present this award to Krista Anderson. Detective Robert Naughton served the community and the Medfield Police Department for over 30 years. He died unexpectedly in 2002 and this scholarship is awarded in honor of him. Detective Naughton was also the first person to always help someone and he had a special knack for helping the youth in the community. It is our pleasure to present this award to Madison Hogart. The Medfield Firefighters Mutual Relief Association is pleased to present a scholarship each year to a graduating senior who is exploring a non-traditional college path. The recipients are Taylor Gwinden and Eva O'Toole. The Medfield Lions Club is a community service organization comprised of men and women who give their time and energy to raise money in order to help people in need throughout the world. This scholarship is awarded to those students who reside in Medfield and who feel deserve recognition for their contribution to the community and for their scholastic achievement. And the recipients of the Medfield Lions Club scholarship are Nolan Franks and Megan Bannister. This award is given in memory of Stephen Hinckley, who was killed in action during the Vietnam conflict. Criteria for this award include an expressed interest in vocational, art, and service. And the recipients of the Stephen Hinckley Award go to Joseph Sabra and Seneth Hartvigson. The John Philip Sousa Awards are given to outstanding students in a school's concert band. This year's recipients are Tristan Marble and Molly Goonan. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Awards are given to outstanding students in a school's jazz program. This year's recipients are Michael Downing and Peter Moiseev. The National Orchestra Awards are given to outstanding students in a school's orchestra program. This year's recipients are Garrett Comston and Reed Marble. The National Chorus Awards are given to outstanding students in a school's choral program. This year's recipients are Nicole Mulready and Maria Nefis. Lowell Mason was a Medfield resident who was one of the preeminent musicians of the early 1800s. He was also a pioneer in music education and convinced the school board in Boston to create the first music education program for a public school. The Lowell Mason House is pleased to continue his support for music education by providing these scholarships to outstanding Medfield high school music students. And the recipients of the Lowell Mason scholarships are Grace Keene, Reed Marble, and Michael Downing. This award is given to a student who has shown exceptional skills as a musician and leader in the music program. Recipients of this award not only play their instruments or sing with great expertise, but also are active in teaching and leading peers and younger students. And the recipient of the Lowell Mason Music Education Award is Nicole Mulready. This award was established in 2008 to honor Jean McCormick, a 1983 graduate of Medfield High School who passed away at the young age of 41. Jean was an exemplary student and an accomplished clarinetist. The award is given to someone who reflects Jean's commitment to excellence and achievement in music. And the recipient of the Jean McCormick Memorial Music Scholarship is Nolan Franks. The Music Pillar Award is presented to a student for a great commitment to their ensemble success and true cooperative spirit. And the recipients of the Music Pillar Award go to Tristan Marble, Garrett Comston, and Seneth Hartvigson.
The recipient of this award displays a strong moral character, a genuine respect for life, and a deep appreciation for family and friends. The winner personifies the true spirit of Dan, compassionate, optimistic, dependable, determined, and hardworking, with a bright spirit and a kind soul. And the recipients of the Daniel C. Palermo Spirit Award are David Jones and Chloe Pucci. And the recipient of the David E. Medeiros Theater Society Memorial Award is Molly Goonan. When funding is available, additional financial awards are provided to theater students who have demonstrated the utmost service and commitment to the Medfield High School Theater Society. This year's Medfield High School Theater Society recipients are Brendan Fugelstad and Anna Zhang. This year's Medfield High School Theater Society Award of Distinction goes to Nicole Mulready. The MHS Parent Teacher Organization is proud to present a scholarship to a senior who has made significant contributions to community service endeavors throughout high school. Congratulations to Sam Hedges. The MHS PTO presents the Excellence Award to an outstanding student of the highest caliber. This year's MHS PTO Award goes to Rebecca Garvey. The School Spirit Award has given to two students who have supported school activities, shown exemplary school spirit, and projected a positive image of Medfield High School. The recipients of the School Spirit Award are Katherine Anderson and Liam Frazier. Student Council has had to adapt this year, but it is with the strong leadership of our senior class, and especially two of our officers, that our Council was able to still accomplish some of our favorite events. I feel so lucky to have been the advisor to these very special young women who have truly made a difference at MHS over their four years. This year's Student Council Awards are presented to Eliza Vara and Molly Wagenseller. Senior Stucco reps and the Stucco e-board and senior class officers were the leaders and role models for our school. It has been a pleasure to work with all of you and watch you grow as leaders over the past four years. We would like to recognize each of you for your dedication to making MHS a better place senior class officers, rep to the school committee and student council representative, Ava O'Toole, treasurer, Kate Anderson, secretary, Becca Garvey, vice president and student council rep, Jackson Piscaldo, and president, Chloe Dudley. Your senior student council representatives, Nick Crofts, Marcus D'Angelo, Chad Gordon, Marissa Gorog, Jake Kramer, James Layden, Julia Morrissey, Sydney Nash, John Shelley, Aaron Sullivan, Isabel Vera, and your Student Council Executive Board, Public Relations, Megan Bannister, Historian, Evan Adolph, Representative to the School Committee, Andrew Barrett, Treasurer, Teddy Ariel, Secretary, Nigel Lau, Vice President, Molly Lag Wagenseller, and President, Eliza Vara. Congratulations. Congratulations to the Class of 2021. In 2010, the Student Council established an award to recognize students of the senior class who show outstanding leadership yet are not members of the student government. Three students were chosen this year by the awards committee for this recognition. The 2021 unsung leaders are respected by their peers, teachers, advisors, and coaches for the positive attitudes and strong leadership potential. And I've been lucky to have had the opportunity to teach all three. I'm proud to present this award to three outstanding individuals, Addie Gardner, Sabrina Lee, and Peter Travis. The Brian W. Lawler Scholarship will go to a Medfield hockey player in memory of Brian Lawler. This award is presented to a Medfield hockey player who always has a positive attitude and has been a leader among his peers, both on and off the hockey rink and in school. This year, this award is presented to Krista Anderson. Congratulations, Krista. Don Brown was a longtime Medfield resident who made significant contributions to the Medfield Hockey Youth Program. Don not only brought a wealth of technical experience to the organization, but also forged relationships with parents, coaches, and players that memorialize the essence of teamwork and respect both on and off the ice. This year's recipients are Taylor Gindin and Nolan Franks. Congratulations to you both. Doug was a coach in the Medfield Youth Hockey Program who passed away from cancer in 1988 at age 39. His memorial scholarship is awarded to a male high school student 
who has shown exemplary participation in both the youth and the high school programs. The Doug Woodruff Memorial Scholarship is given this year to Michael Vachon. Medfield Girls Hockey and Thomas Family Dental Associates will provide a scholarship to a graduating female who has played ice hockey at the varsity level for Medfield High School. The most important criteria for this award is the candidate's ability to demonstrate their dedication, commitment, and contributions to improve themselves as a player and help build the Medfield Girls Hockey Program. This year's award goes to Taylor Gwinden. The Pansiaco Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a high school student who has shown exemplary participation in the Medfield Youth Hockey and High School Hockey programs. Consideration is given to individual hockey achievements, character, contribution to the Medfield Youth Hockey program, and strong academic performance. This year's Peter Pansiaco Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Taylor Gwinden and Nolan Franks. Eric Perkins graduated from Medfield High School in 2004. He was tragically killed by a drunk driver on Thanksgiving night in 2004. This award honors the life of Eric Perkins and his passion for the game of football. This year's Eric Michael Perkins Memorial Football Scholarship goes to Edward Viles. The Medfield Youth Baseball and Softball Scholarship acknowledges students who have participated in the MYBS program during their youth and have volunteered their time to help the program continue to develop future baseball and softball players. Congratulations to Charlie Walsh, Catherine O'Connor, and Sabrina Lee. The Michael McLeod Baseball Scholarship is awarded to the Medfield High School senior baseball player that exemplifies strong leadership qualities on and off the field. The recipient is highly regarded by his coaches, teammates, teachers, and fellow classmates. Congratulations to Ben Leonard. The Doc Nickerson Baseball Scholarship is awarded in memory of Doc Nickerson, who shared that his love of baseball with the Medfield community. This award is presented to a baseball player who demonstrates exceptional character, involvement in community service, and a positive attitude. This year, congratulations to Sam Palmer. Medfield Youth Lacrosse recognizes high school seniors who have participated in and contributed to the Medfield Youth Lacrosse program. Jacob Grennan, Samuel Hedges, Michael Vachon, Catherine Blake, and Aaron Sullivan. Medfield Youth Soccer recognizes former youth soccer players who have taken the time to give back to the youth program while in high school. Through activities such as setting up fields, assisting with 3v3, volunteer coaching, and refing games, former players have volunteered their time and shared their love and respect for the game with the next generation of soccer players. Benjamin Previtt and Sarah Churchill. Medfield Youth Basketball offers two scholarships to graduating high school seniors who have participated in the Medfield Youth Basketball program. Consideration is given to individual achievement, character, and contribution to the Medfield Youth Basketball program. Edward Ariel and Camilla Silk. The Humanitas Award was created in 2015 to recognize students who practice one of Medfield High School's most important core values, kindness and character. Last year, with the approval of his family, we decided to rename this award to the John Pansiaco Humanitas Award to honor our beloved teacher, colleague, and friend who made every classroom and hallway he walked in a warmer and brighter place. Students are nominated by staff who observe them practicing authentic kindness and inclusion toward their peers. They are the students who, just like Mr. P, ask others to join their group or their calf table, who seek to make everyone feel welcome. The recipients of the award will have their names added to the plaque in the main lobby, and we feel that they best represent the best qualities of Mr. Pansiaco. I'm so pleased to announce that this year's recipients are Avery Ayer, Grace O'Donnell, and Emery Swerbalis. It is my great privilege to give out the Medfield High School Scholar Athlete Awards. The Medfield High School Scholar Athlete Awards are presented to student athletes who exemplify what it truly means to be a scholar student athlete. 
These students are leaders on and off the field, show a great deal of athletic prowess in their respective sports, and also excel in the classroom. The first recipient tonight competes and is highly skilled in soccer, basketball, and track and field here at Medfield High School, where he was a basketball captain his senior year. Off the field, he carried a vigorous course load while maintaining a 4.46 weighted GPA to place himself in the top 10% of his class, as well as finding time to hold the position of treasurer of the executive board, a member of student council, and acts as a basketball referee coordinator to recruit, schedule, and train others to referee. His leadership is also quite extraordinary and can be best summed up by the following words shared by his basketball coach. Quote, he is a great young man. He shows up every day with tremendous amount of enthusiasm and played his heart out. He always treated his teammates and coaches with respect. He was a great role model and will be missed by our program. End quote. I'm proud to present the 2021 Scholar Athlete Award to Teddy Ariel. Our second recipient of the Scholar Athlete Award competed in volleyball and tennis here at Medfield High School. This recipient was captain of both her senior year. She was a member of student council all four years, served as vice president on student government in ninth and 10th and student council vice president her junior and senior year. She also was a member of National Honor Society, National Spanish Honor Society, and National Art Honor Society. What strength, strengthens her leadership even and merit even more is her commitment to helping others and leaving Medfield a better place. She made an impact by being involved in project teamwork, helping hearts, service group, and also help for future warriors learn tennis and volleyball in the summer for possibly the next generation of Scholar Athlete Award winners. If that wasn't enough, she also find time to create her own dog walking business. She did all these things and more that I'm probably missing while maintaining a 4.0 unweighted GPA. An impressive young woman, student athlete in person, I'm honored to present the 2021 Scholar Athlete Award to Miss Molly Wagonseller. The Senior Inspiration Award is given to one teacher every year who we feel inspires us the most every day. The award is voted on by the seniors and then a committee of students reviews the nominations to choose a winner. In order to show our appreciation, the teacher receives a $50 gift, a $450 grant for their classroom from the PTO, and their name will be added to the plaque of other recipients located outside of the school office. Usually only if about 40 students submit responses, but this year we received over 60. This year, 21 different teachers were nominated. It was a super close race, but it became clear who our class thought inspired us most. We thought it would be appropriate to use some of the quotes from the responses to show how much this person means to us. Since this is the Inspiration Award, the fact that so many students felt empowered by this teacher seems fitting. This person is always optimistic and continually has a smile on his face. He turns his classroom into a fun learning environment and still loves teaching after all his years at MHS. He is truly the kindest soul and is definitely my Inspiration Award nominee. This person is the best teacher I've ever been taught by. He works hard to ensure every student understands and feels confident in their ability to work with the material. Not only does he prepare his students well for every exam, but he also prepares and inspires us for life beyond high school. I feel lucky to have been taught by him, and just like every other student who sits in this classroom, will remember his lessons throughout life. He is one of the most good-hearted people I have ever met. He has been my coach and teacher, and I have never once seen him in a bad mood for the four years I've spent with him. He is an amazing teacher and demonstrates deep care for his students. This person has been around Medfield High for a while, and we're really excited to show appreciation for someone who's done so much for us, especially me personally, both inside and outside of school and he's been nothing short of an inspiration. Thank you, Mr. Kramer. Congrats, Mr. Kramer. Congratulations, seniors, and to the families of the seniors. I'm here to present the National Merit Commended Scholars Award. Each year, students from across the country compete in the National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test through their participation in the PSATs. This program recognizes the 1% of high scoring students within the nation. 
This year, Medfield had the honor of having seven students named Commended Scholars. Congratulations to the following students. Marcus D'Angelo, Abigail Frankel, Race Hanna, Seneth Hartvigson, Tristan Marble, Benjamin Previtt, and Elizabeth Scheck. Congratulations, students. Each year, Medfield High School recognizes those students who have worked to demonstrate excellence in the classroom within the areas of English, mathematics, history, science, and world language. Each of these students has earned a cumulative weighted grade point average within the top 10% of this year's graduating class. In recognition of their dedication and scholarly pursuits, a leather portfolio inscribed with the seal of the town of Medfield is presented to the following students for their academic excellence. Katherine Anderson, Edward Ariel, Avery Ayer, Katherine Berglund, Caroline Callahan, Gabriella Cristo, Marcus D'Angelo, Samantha Falvey, Abigail Frankel, Molly Goonan, Marissa Garag, Seneth Harvigson, Lucas Hassong, Sydney Lee, Nicole Mulready, Grace O'Donnell, Benjamin Previtt, Antonia Rijo, Charlotte Royston, Theodore Sawan, Camilla Silk, Aaron Sullivan, and Molly Wagenseller. Congratulations again to these students for their academic excellence. As we close this program, I want to take this opportunity to thank and acknowledge several members of our staff who are retiring this year. These faculty members have made significant contributions to our learning community over the years. They have no doubt impacted thousands of students. Wellness teacher and wellness department chair, Susan Cowell is retiring after 37 years in Medfield. Administrative assistant, Mary Jean Ingram is retiring after 27 years in Medfield. English teacher and English department chair, Gail Duffy is retiring after 21 years in Medfield. And technology support specialist, Liz Curran is retiring after 17 years at MHS. I know you will join me in thanking them for their many years of service. Our program has ended. Congratulations again to all of our scholarship and award winners. We look forward to the upcoming senior events this weekend. Thank you.